YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Dividend pay week for City Group. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Now, getting straight into it, City Group is having its dividend uh, pay day this week. Uh, more in particularly, uh, May the 24th, which you can see here. And you're going to be getting paid uh, 53 cents per share that you own uh, for uh, City Group. Now, that will give you the total amount of a dollar and six cent per, uh, I'm sorry, for uh, each of, each share that you have for this year, if you've been in it uh, since the start of the year. And uh, you would have to have bought the actual stock before May 3rd, okay? So if you bought it before May 3rd, and you're going to be getting uh, a dividend, okay? Now, this is what this EX date means. It means that you have to have bought the uh, the the stock before this date. Uh, if you bought it on or after this date, you will not be getting the dividend, okay? So that's important to know. Now, as we look at the, the history, let's go one year out. So we've been uh, pretty steady over the last year or so. Um, last April, we were at 51 cent and you can see we've steadily uh kind of been at the same range since then looking at this thing from a three-year out perspective you can see we were down as low as 51 cent um we were there for a while but july um 2023 is when we kind of bumped up two cent uh per share and so you know it, it's a steady increase now I looked at this thing from a five year out perspective, and you can see back in 2019, uh, the dividend was 45 cents per share. So we're steady making progress, not necessarily at the highest dividend we've ever had uh, for Citigroup, which was back in 1996. It was 70 cents per share. So that's a little bit of history for you guys. Now, um, Overall, the, the banking industry has been doing quite well this year um, as it pertains to, to numbers. You know, a lot of people expected for the bank industry to not do as well. But when you look at Citigroup, uh, one of the, the top here in, in America, you're getting a dividend yield of 3.31%, uh, 3 which is excellent. All right. Now, one of the things I like to look at, um, and it's funny for me when it when it comes to banks, is the upgrade and downgrade. So if we scroll down to the bottom here, you can see uh, Oppenheimer has them as outperforming. Piper Sandler has them as overweight. So overall, um, when we look at the, the latest, um, a lot of them are not too... Uh, bullish on them per se when we talk about these institutions right but you got jeffries has has them as a whole and then um you got goldman sachs as a buy so a little bit mixed here so i mean as long as you dollar cost average this is an excellent stock uh to have um and that's pretty much what, what we what we've got here to cover. So let me got let me know, guys. Is Citigroup a uh, stock that you guys have in your portfolio? Um, would you sh say that you have more shares of this versus, let's say, Bank of America or J.P. Morgan Chase? Uh, which one of these bank stocks do you uh, believe more in? Yes, a lot of us view them as kind of being in the same pool, but overall. I think everybody has their uh, favorites that they like to kind of stick with. Uh, for me, I like Bank of America um, as a stock. You know, the, the price is nice to me. The dividend is good. <clears throat> and, um, you know, we're, we're all we're all in this thing uh, together. I do. I do have some city group, though. But Bank of America is the one I have the most of Then J.P. Morgan Chase. And then uh, Citigroup because of their dividend is always pretty solid. OK, so I appreciate you guys. Uh, make sure you guys like, share and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Life Changing Finances YouTube channel. We're out. Peace.